Hello everyone and welcome to ROS Tutorials. In this tutorial we will learn how to properly install ROS on a Linux machine. Furthermore, we will test our installation by running a Hello World example in ROS. If you are familiar with the Linux command line, the process of installing ROS is relatively straightforward. However, for beginners or for people who are not familiar with the Linux command line, the installation process might be challenging. And consequently, I created this video to clarify the installation process. The first thing that you need to verify is your current Linux distribution. Over here, you can see the current releases of Ubuntu. I tested ROS on this version 22.04 and ROS was not working. Then I reinstalled my Ubuntu distribution and I installed this version 20.04.6 and ROS works on this distribution. Here it's also important to stress that we will install this ROS distribution, ROS Noetic, and the details are given over here. And as you can see over here, the recommended version of Ubuntu is 20.04. Again, to stress, this ROS version will not work on Ubuntu 22.04. Maybe some of you know how to make it work, however, I was not able to install it properly. Consequently, before you even start the installation process, it's very important to verify that you are actually having this Linux distribution. To do that, open a terminal and in the terminal type this command. As you can see over here, my current distribution or version is 20.04.6 and consequently I will be able to properly install ROS on this version. Here I would like to mention that all Linux command that I will type in this video are given in the description below this video. Also, I would like to mention that the installation process presented in this video is based on the instructions given over here. And here's the link. If I click on Ubuntu, I will get a list of instructions and I'm simply following these instructions. However, for people who are not familiar with Linux command line, these instructions might be confusing. In the second part of this video, I will present how to run a simple Hello World program in ROS that will test the installation. And you cannot find the instructions over here how to run the Hello World program. The second step is to configure the Ubuntu repositories. We can do that by clicking over here and by typing updates and we click on this link. After clicking on this link, we will have this window. Over here, we need to make sure that proper buttons are being pressed. And we need to make sure that restricted universe and multiverse buttons are being pressed. So main, universe, restricted, and multiverse. And my suggestion is also to enable this button to do that, I need to enter my password. So usually this part is not enabled. However, you need to enable it. Close this window and go to the step number three. Here you will probably need to wait for some time. The step number three is to set up your computer to accept software from packages.ros.org. To do that, I will simply copy and paste this command and I will execute this command in terminal. After entering your password and enter, we completed this command. The next step is to set up the keys. We do that 
by installing curl. So I will copy this command and I will execute this command in my terminal. Okay, and we need to execute another command. This is the second command. Okay, and that was step number four. Step number five. In this step, we will actually install ROS. To do that, we need to run two commands. The first command is sudo apt update. And the second command is actually the installation command. sudo apt install ROS Noetic desktop full. Press enter. And this process will take a while take a while. Here you need to provide yes. After completing this step, ROS is installed. However, the story does not end over here. We still need to perform a few steps. In the next step, we need to set up the environment. Every time we want to use ROS, we need to source this file, setup.bash. Setup to illustrate this, I will open a new terminal window, and in this window I need to execute this command. And after this command is executed, I can run my ROS. This process can be tedious, because every time you want to use ROS, you need to source this file. To speed up this process, we can automatically source this script every time a new shell is launched. To do that, we can simply echo this command and put it in a bash rc. Going back to our installation window, we can simply paste this command. And right now, our command source, optrosnoetic setup.bash, is being echoed and it's in this file. Next, we simply need to source this file. To do that, we need to write this command. The next step is to install ROS install. This tool is used for downloading source trees for ROS packages with a single command. So let's do that by simply copy and pasting this command in our terminal window. Okay, this process takes some time. After this step, we need to initialize ROSDEP. ROSDEP enables you to easily install system dependencies for sources you want to compile and is required to run some core components in ROS. To perform this step, we need to enter this command. And after this command is executed, we need to initialize and update rosdep by typing sudo rosdep initialize and after this step we need to update by typing rosdep update And that's it. We have completed the installation process. 
Hopefully, we have properly installed all the components. However, we need to verify our installation. To do that, let us close all the terminal windows. To verify the installation, we will run a simple Hello World example in ROS. To start this Hello World example, I will open a new terminal. Then, I need to run my master node, or I need to run ROS core. So every time you want to run ROS, you need to run ROS core. So let's execute this command in new window. Aha! Uh -huh. So far so good. It looks like that ROS core is running. We see some parameters. We see this message with the nodes. And the next step is to create a new node called Talker. We can create this node by opening a new terminal and by typing this command. ROS run ROS CPP underscore tutorials talker. The name of the node is talker. Aha! Uh -huh. Something is happening over here. This node publishes this message hello world and it increments this integer as the line progress. This messages is transferred through certain topic to other nodes. So let's create a node that will listen to this message and that will print this message. To do that, we need to create another node. To create another node, we will open a new terminal and in this new terminal we will type ROS run ROS CPP tutorials listener. So let's run this listener. Perfect. You can see that the listener is simply echoing the message, the message it receives from the publisher, that is from the talker. So the talker is saying hello world with a certain number and you can see that the listener is simply echoing this message. This means that, that ROS is properly installed and that everything runs as it should run. Finally, we can check a list of topics by again opening a new window and by ty typing ROS topic list. This command will list all the active topics. We have a chatter topic and this topic is used to transfer this message hello world from this node that is from our talker to our listener over here and the channel or the bus through which these messages are being transferred it's called chatter and that's the topic okay that would be all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i create please press the like and subscribe buttons thank you very much and have a nice day